I still even look back on my football career and feel like, how did that even happen? Because I still feel like I was a bit of a suburban footballer that just managed to make it through the AFL. Right, now it's a race. Rance, two thoroughbreds here and Rance wins the day. So I made the state 16 side and I was pretty garbage. Uh, that I, I, I feel like I just got selected because of my pedigree, because of like, you know, this is Murray Rance's son and maybe he might be able to stop a few goals. On Rance, marvellous in the air. I thought that I was going to be a landscape architect and so I just thought that I'll give one year of footy a good crack. My very first game of being a Richmond player, I played VFL reserves. That, that level doesn't even exist anymore. I uh, just didn't know what my identity was then because I was this sort of strong bodied midfielder running, had Nick Natanui putting it down my throat every time and then they're like, we think you're probably gonna be a defender. I was like, what do you mean? So, had to sort of change my identity a little bit. Kick is on its way, Rance has to go, get contact, Alex Rance outstanding. It took me a couple of years to work that out. I think the other thing that probably made me a little bit different was I'm, I've got the attention span of a fly, that I just was always bored. So I didn't want to just play on my guy, I wanted to do more. How could I help someone else by putting them in a different position or just go and be more proactive? It was a lonely role, that like, and, it, and it's quite a personal role too, because often it's like me versus Buddy or me v Josh Kennedy. I, I love that I was acknowledged as a team man and a cultural man and that I could make people laugh and I could change the mood of the of the organization just by doing something silly. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Oh Lord. The Tigers have got home for the first time in 37 years. To making finals, to winning the first round, to winning the prelim, to winning the granny was just this euphoric, like it was just Everything moved so fast and it was just fun and exciting. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it now. I'm proud that I achieved all the things that I thought that it would take to be successful. So win a best and fairest, win an All-Australian, win a premiership, be respected by your teammates. Like they were the things that I thought meant something and I'm proud that I was able to, to tick those off.